Hi, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel and another video. I hope you all are keeping safe out there just as I am. Today, I'm going to be showing us how I achieved this gorgeous, colorful displays in the slide. I hope someone out there gets inspired by the look. And if you want to see how I achieved this, do not go anywhere and see you guys in the tutorial. So I'm prepping my face using my Avene Thermal Water to prevent irritations as I notice I'm a little bit sensitive you know when I apply several makeup and now the normal drill starting with my eyebrow I used my Milani eyebrow gel liner for my eyebrow and what I'm doing here is just prepping the eyebrow those excesses that are, that are actually protruding out of the line I had to use my scissors to trim it out so eyebrow is all set and now starting my eyeshadow with the green color there transitioning with the green and right now I'm blending it from the outer part to the inner crease area and now I just applied the brown color to give it a darker base for my transitioning so I blended that dark, that brown into the green to make my green come out darker. And now I'm using my yellow, yellow, um, just like the name of the look says, it's a tropical look. And you know, in the tropical, we have green leaves, we have yellow leaves that are drying up and, um, you know, kind of yellowish and orange that's where I got the inspiration of these colors I choose from and yes now I'm topping it with an orange that's in the inner part of my crease area just to give it that um, more like you know a ref not reflection just to add more color you know so now I just cleaned the area that I'm going to be applying my cut crease on with my makeup remover. So now I'll be using my Rumor O from P. Louise as my base for the cut crease. I gently applied that color. You have to drag it gently so that you don't smear the colors. And now I'm using that. Um, is it more it's not white it's kind of peachy on my carity palette so to blend out that area where the crease stopped so that you don't get a demarcation I'm using the blue eyeshadow to cover that area and I blended it out so repeating the same process on the other side yes and this is what we have at the moment so because i actually want something really really glittery so i went on my revolution palette and i'm adding that shimmer pink kind of um yeah so now that actually helps to give it that reflecting look that we have right now as you can see it comes out a little bit comes out actually better so now to cover the edges I had to use my blue to blend it out so as not to create a demarcation I just applied my highliner and next my mask my eyelashes sorry So now prepping my face using my blemish control 
so i'll be using these two foundations the nyx and my maybelline fit me under the eye area to complement the upper crease area i used the same colors the same green color and on the outer part i blended it out with the yellow color so for my waterline i decided to use um, a lemon color lemon green just to complement the look and yes this is what i have So because the face already have, I got patches all over the face as a result of my eyeshadow application, I had to add another, like blend out with my foundation. And now I am creating my shading and highlighting. I used my LA Pro Girl. And for the contouring, I actually used um, the darker tone of my powder, a darker shade powder to create my contour on the nose area and on my cheekbone area alongside with my forehead. So now to create more highlight, I used my banana powder from Essence. Time for the bling. I cannot get a look done without creating um, the glow effect. So I actually, that's, I used here right there my Juvier highlighter. And for my lips, I'm actually lining my lips now with my Morphe lip pencil. I'm going to put the description of everything I used right there in the description column below. And this is my towel lipstick. I really love this lipstick. It's, it's really, really slick and smooth on the lips. So because of the color combination I have on my eyes, I didn't want anything too sharp on my lips. So I decided to go for something more like a nude color. And now I created more like a little um, blush on my cheek area with my Juvia palette, the brown shade there. And also with my Juvia highlighter, Nubian highlighter. This is it. So to top up the color of the, the lipstick, I actually am using a lip gloss now, same towel. It's from Co, sorry, not towel. That's Co lip gloss. And this is what I and this is what I achieved there. So now I just used my glitter glue to create um, a dot at that outer part of my eye because I needed to put my stud or grime stone. Let me say my grime stone. And this is the finished product of the look. Guys, what do you think? please do like if you like what you see hit the subscribe button also on the notification bell so that each time a video comes up you'll be notified this look is really gorgeous the process sometimes can be really really annoying you'll be wondering what am i going to achieve but if you're patient enough just keep blending those colors in you'll be glad you never stopped because the end result always justifies the means thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video